And the war is not out there somewhere. The war is right here for all of us. This is where the war is. I fight it. You fight it. We all fight it. We've got ruts already running there that the devil plays on. And he also inserts new, tries to create new ruts in our thinking. Let's go to this next one. Notice what it says here in 1 Peter 5, 8. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil. Who's your enemy? Please listen. There is a real devil. Okay. Your enemy, I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to do, remind us of what the scripture says. So you'll be what? Alert and of sober mind. Not afraid, but of alert, alert and sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around looking like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Actually, the Greek word that's used there means to, to drown. Just overwhelm in some way. Now, this is the primary weapon that Satan uses in our lives is to get into our minds through lies, through thoughts of destruction, through fear, through condemnation, through accusation of our own inner being, through defeat and arrogance and pride and a variety of other kind of temptations that come our way. He wants to get into your head. If he can insert his way of thinking into your head and create in you a lie that you're believing, then he has access to you, okay? He has access to controlling some dimension of your life. This goes all the way back to the very beginning of time. Again, laying the foundation tonight. Look at the very first book of the Bible and what happened here. Genesis chapter 3, verse 1. Now the serpent, who was the serpent? It was the devil. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, what did he say to the woman? Did... God really say? What is he introducing? Doubt. What is he introducing? Some questioning of what God said was true. Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? So he's, he's sort of suggesting that God's the liar, that God really didn't say something that he said. He's trying to get into Eve's head. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. Now notice this. He now says, believe me instead of believing him. You don't need to believe him. Believe what I'm telling you. In other words, I'm casting doubt on the truth of God's word so you'll believe my word because I want to bring you my way. I want to steal and kill and destroy your life. And ultimately, Adam and Eve went that direction and they they lost their, their access to the Garden of Eden. Why? Because the serpent wiggled his way in to the mind and the thinking of Adam and Eve. This is why you're mind is so very important. 